Hey, hello, welcome once again to the Cheat Sheet series. This is the Cheat Sheet from which we are doing everything here. In the previous videos, we've already gone through quite a bit of this, but today we're going to crank through some pages here inside WordPress. So let's get right to it. I hope this is helping you. Uh, this is actually, a, it's something that makes a lot of big difference to a lot of people. And so let's get right to this one. All right. We are going to make some pages here in WordPress. Remember, pages are different from posts, so we're going to focus on the most important, essential pages you have to make on every single website that you make with WordPress. And these pages are the About page and the Contact page, the Home page and your Blog page. That is, of course, if that's how you want to do it. Uh, your Disclosure page and Privacy Policy as well as your visual sitemap. Remember, that's different than the XML sitemap that's uh, used exclusively for Google and for search engine optimization. The sitemap that I'm talking about here is the visual one that you and I as website visitors see. All right, so let's go on over here to besthomebrewkits.com. This is a site that I'm using right now to promote uh, some homebrew kits. And so what I've done here is, as I'm using thesis theme, so let's take a look at some of the pages that, um, well, let's look at them from the front end, okay? And then we'll go back and take a look at the back end inside the WordPress dashboard. So the first one, as we say here, is the About page. So as you can see up here in the navigation bar, uh, this page is the About page. Let's go ahead and click here. And this is my About page and it just talks about me or about the, the website or about what it is that I'm trying to accomplish here. Uh, this is a great page for you to use as a way to really sell yourself, okay? You don't wanna overlook the importance of the about page, particularly if you're B2B. This is actually something that's really important in the B2B space, all right? So I just wrote a bunch of stuff here that I think is important for people to understand why I'm making this website and why they should listen to me and what they should do, what, should they, what they should get out of this site. And so what I want them to do, I want them to buy a homebrew kit. So that's what I'm doing here on the About page. The next page that we're gonna talk about is the Contact page. Now, if you notice here, it is a drop down um, from underneath or from About is first and Contact is below that. And the reason why that's a drop down is because it's um, a child of the parent About, all right? So this is, how this looks, the contact page, this is actually really, really simple, and I'm gonna show you how this works in a second as well. Remember in the essential plugins, I talked about a little plugin called Fast Secure Contact Form? Well, this is the result. This is exactly what you get, and all I had to do was put in this simple little short code, and I also wrote this right here. That's it. So I made the contact form page, a little, little short code, and set the attribute to um, uh, use the con or use the about page as the parent. Done. All right, we're cranking along. Next is the home page. Now, remember, you don't have to have a home page and a blog page if you don't want. I personally like it that way, particularly when it comes to this type of a site. So I set up a home page, which is called Brew Your Own Beer at Home the Easy Way. That is the page that I used as I set it as my home page. Remember in the beginning, what video was that on? It was in uh, settings, configuring your settings, your front page and your blog. I set this page to be my home page. And so this is all the stuff that I wrote here about the home page or that I have available on the home page. All right, well, I guess it kind of speaks for itself. So this is my home page, and there is a page called blog, and I also, in the readings, reading section of the settings, I set this page to be the blog page. So therefore, you see all of my blog posts delivered on this page, okay? And so you can see this. Uh, this actually, I made this a sticky post, so therefore it's at the top of the blog um, chron chronology, is that a word? Oh, well, it is now. And so here you go, so there's all my blog posts. All right, what else do we have here? We have disclosure, privacy policy, and sitemap. I put all of those on the footer. So let's scroll down here to the footer, 
and you can see here they are down here disclosure I call it disclaimer hey big deal it gets the job done and privacy policy and contact us I put that there as well and the site map let's go ahead and take a look at the site map because that will use uh, we'll use that to navigate through the rest of these pages all right so here we are on the site map remember this is the visual site map is massively different than the XML site map that we use just for Google and so I just use some very simple short codes to make this site map and actually just one short code done from a plugin called HTML sitemap yeah HTML I want to make sure I'm saying this right it, yes it is called HTML sitemap and so there you go this is out this is all it is so disclosure let's say here yeah disclosure then privacy policy let's take a look at that so here we go here's our disclosure it's really simple and actually I'm gonna show you a different way to do a disclosure policy in a moment but I just wrote simply I'm gonna get paid if you make a purchase all right nice and simple just got the job done and let's go ahead and click back to our privacy or to our site map and take a look at the privacy policy and privacy policies um, really kind of boring but you don't want to overlook it because Google thinks that it's important for your website to uh, have a privacy policy a disclosure as well as a contact us page where people can get a hold of you so if that's part of the formula that's part of the formula and you don't want to overlook it so privacy policy boring well you can make them from uh, a site called privacypolicy.org I believe I'm gonna show you that in a second as well in fact let's go ahead and do that now because we've already gone through all the pages we uh, have looked at the front end of the pages the about and the contact we've also looked at the home page and the blog page and we've looked at the disclosure policy page or I call it disclaimer and the privacy policy page and the sitemap now let's take a look at the back end and I'll show you a couple of quick resources you can use to make those pages for yourself let's see here where should I go let's start yeah let's go click here go to the dashboard and all of this stuff here remember these are pages so they're found within the pages section of WordPress so here we go the about page let's go ahead and hit the edit button because if you were making this for yourself for the first time you would simply click the add new button like this call it the about page enter your content inside here whatever you want to do and then uh, use the default template hit publish and you're done now let's go ahead and take a look at the contact page if you notice it is there's a little dash here to indicate that it's it's a child of the about page right above it let's go click the edit button take a look at that and here it is it's simply called contact that's what I named it and you can see in the uh, URL structure here that it goes through the um, about page first so there's besthomebrewkits.com forward slash about forward slash contact because that's the name of our our title of this page um, and here you go so I just typed in some quick little thing that says I'm happy to talk with you yada yada just use the form and this is the short code remember from fast secure contact forms under the essential plugins piece of cake now I have a fully functional contact form on my website and I went over here to the page attributes section and made the about page the parent and that's it done next let's take a look at the all right so we've already seen the home page hey you know what well, might, might as well so this is not the home page right here this is the home page the brew your own beer at home the easy way so click edit now you would simply type you know add new and you can call your home page whatever you want to call it because it doesn't matter you can change your home page at any time by simply going to the settings uh, and reading section of the settings and indicate that this is the page you want your home page to be piece of cake I simply wrote some stuff call it the home page done and blog let's take a look at that again you add new I made a page I like calling it blog it's nice and easy and that's it I look at there's nothing in here there's nothing in here why because 
WordPress makes this page into uh, the home for all the blog posts. And now let's take a look at disclosure. And let's take a look at this one here. Remember, I just wrote a quick little dealio. I have a business relationship with many merchants listed, advertised, or reviewed. If you make a purchase, I may earn a commission. Done. Well, maybe you should be a little bit more um, thorough than I was on this. So let's take a look at disclosurepolicy.org. It's actually pretty decent. I, you go through this little process here, you click generate policy, you answer six questions, and it gives you uh, something like this. Um, I just did this the other day, or actually earlier today, I'm sorry, uh, for my son's website, videogamekid.com, that I'm making for him. In fact, you may have already seen some of the videos where I document this whole process from concept to creation to completion right here inside affiliatemarketingplan.com. Well, here's the disclosure policy that I made using disclosurepolicy.org, and I just answer six questions. It spit this out, all right? I think it's a pretty decent disclosure policy. It definitely gets the job done, so consider using disclosurepolicy.org, answer some questions, it spits out the HTML, and you're done. Now let's take a look at the privacy policy. In fact, um, before I go to the privacy policy page, I'll show you how I made it. Right here at freeprivacypolicy.com. And now, warning, they're a little spammy. All right, but I guess you know if they're doing this for free. They might as well try to make some money off you, off of you at some point. So you do have to answer so answer some questions. Um, you click here to make your new privacy policy. You answer a bunch of questions. It almost seems oh hello. I'm sorry. Uh, I might have clicked the wrong button. Unless it recognizes that I'm back here uh, to create your own privacy template in just minutes. Click here free policy generator oh okay oh it's simply taking me to this no more policies because it recognizes that I've already made one and so you as a brand new user you'll go through the steps make the um, answer the questions and you'll get a privacy policy sent to you via email and then of course they're gonna send you some more email try to upsell you don't worry about it just copy and paste their um, their uh, code and put it onto your privacy policy page and you're done. Another one here is automatic with two T's dot com and they say you can use their privacy policy but then you have to you know find and replace instances of their website so you can do that if you don't want to be bothered with the upsells of that um, free privacy policy website. Alright so let's go ahead and click back and now let's take a look at the privacy page here and when you make it you make it you're done um, I copied and pasted this code from that privacy policy, free privacy policy .com site or whatever. And of course, now I'm getting email from them, but I'm not going to buy anything. All I, all I wanted from them is the privacy policy to make it easy. All right. What else is there to do? Sitemap. This is our final page. We are cranking through this. Now, you're going to like this because, again, I'm using that HTML uh, sitemap plugin. It's a free plugin. Look at this. All I had to do was copy and paste this short code, and I'm done. And it made the sitemap for me. All right. So I think that is it for now. Yes, that is all. So what did we do here today? We did some pages. We made some pages. And we're taking action, getting stuff done here, making our website. So these are the essential pages you have to make: the about page and the contact page, the home page and the blog page, the disclosure page and the privacy page and the site map, the visual site map page. And that is all my friends, I hope this is helping you here, um, getting your stuff done, making your websites, and getting focused on making uh, money or getting the results you want out of your website. So keep at it, and we'll see you in the next section here of the Cheat Sheet Guide, the technical steps to setting up a WordPress website. See ya. I hope this video helped you in some capacity in your endeavor to learn and explore and understand affiliate marketing a bit better. And I don't know if you've had a chance to do this yet, but I'd like to invite you and ask you to please consider joining AffiliateMarketingPlan.com for free. Um, it's right here. Take a look. Uh, so it's AffPlan.com if you don't want to spell out Affiliate Marketing Plan. Just type in AffPlan.com. And 
I have a bunch of different content here that's all available to the public, but I do have a bunch of really cool stuff, or at least I think so, here just for our free members. And just by clicking on the members tab, you'll be directed to the join button. And if you are currently a member, you can log in. Or like me right now, I'm already logged in, so I can go straight to the dashboard. And I just want to show you just in two seconds or so, okay, maybe more than two seconds, but you get the point. It's quick. Um, at this point right now, I have two main sections. One is for eBooks that are free and available for anybody who's uh, an affiliate marketing plan.com free member as well as videos so if I show you real quickly the ebooks uh, right now we have a free ebook it's called affiliate marketing the complete guide for beginners and here you can click through and you can download your ebook just by clicking here and look at this I've got a copy right here in my hands it's pretty comprehensive um, it's I wrote a lot and I I wrote it because I wanted to be sure that my neighbors and friends and family understand affiliate marketing so it's it's very comprehensive it talks all about merchants why they start an affiliate program how it works for merchants as well as for affiliates how affiliates can get started how they make money and the whole process so I hope you get a chance to download and read the free ebook as well as take a look at some of these free videos that I have available. Unfortunately, you're gonna get sick of my mug because I have a lot of myself in these videos, but I have two different um, productions in the AFPLAN training series. Now these are free videos again, and the first one is just, it's an overview on affiliate marketing and how to build your first affiliate site and, and get started. And at this point, there's two videos in here. And in this one, now this is actually a really fun project for me. It's building my son's first affiliate website. And I've actually, I'm showing you everything from uh, concept to creation to completion. The whole thing, all the things that I, we have to come up with are thoughts, challenges, the whole nine yards. So I really hope you get a chance to become a free member at affiliatemarketingplan.com. Learn some stuff and hopefully you can tell me uh, that it's helped you at some point and has made you a really successful affiliate marketer.